Hi everyone, welcome back to Lonsdale Book Chats. I'm Penny and this week I am going to be talking about romance books. Now, there are a lot of subcategories to romance books, so don't just think that they're all about the old Fabio covered romance novels. You can have modern romances or historical romances. You can have fantasy romances or thriller romances. So I'm going to talk a little bit about a lot of those different categories today. Now, I like a good romance book and I'm not ashamed to admit it. Not for the romance, but just because in times, especially like now, I want a book that has a happy ending. And not all books can guarantee a happy ending. I hate getting into a thriller book, getting attached to a character and finding out that they're murder victim number three. A romance, you kind of know what's going to happen at the end. So it's just how they get from the beginning to the end. I really enjoy those stories. And romance has definitely gotten a new surge thanks to Netflix because I have been hearing a lot about two specific series on Netflix. And so I'm going to start with one of them. It is the Virgin River series by Robin Carr. I believe the first series is out. I'm not sure if this or first season, I'm not sure if the second season came out or not, but it's a small town and you really get to know the characters in it. Obviously, the book is slightly different from the television show. Um, it always is. But from what I've heard of Virgin River, it's fairly close. A few differences, but fairly close. And I always recommend reading the book because you have to wait for season two or season three to come out. There are 22 books in this series, so you can definitely get a leg up on it. And uh, Robin Carr has actually written 66 books in total. So if you find that you're watching the Virgin River series on Netflix or you start the books, try some of her other series. She's a modern romance writer. You really get to know the characters. A lot of it circles, uh, focuses around a bar in this town and the characters, the, pa the patrons of the bar, the people who've come visit the bar, obviously, and just small town life. I really enjoyed this series. I'm glad to see that it's getting a lot of acclaim right now. The other series that is out, and I've heard that the costumes are phenomenal in this series. I've heard they made something like 3,000 gowns in the series, all hand sewn and beaded. So for that reason alone, you should watch the Bridgerton series by Julia Quinn, but I love the books by her. Again, both uh, the Virgin River and the um, Bridgerton series came out in early 2000s. So that's also another advantage. You can read through the books in the series and not have to worry about, you know, not having the next book in the series. If you're a fan of Game of Thrones, you know exactly what we mean. Uh, we're still waiting for the last book to come out, even though the series has ended. However, the Bridgerton series follows a group of siblings and they're named A through H. I believe it's Anthony, Benedict, I don't remember C, Daphne. And Daphne is the first book of the series, oddly enough, called The Duke and I. And I love Julia Quinn's writing. I have been reading her for years because she has such a sense of humor. She'll sneak in little bits of snarkiness or little bits of humor that you may not find in other writers. They're laugh aloud books. Um, in fact, she has a, a running gag about croquet through a lot of these books. And even my husband knows when I mention that I'm reading Julia Quinn, he'll say, is that the one with the croquet game of death? And I have to say, well, yes, yes it is, because I had laughed when I came across it. I told him about it and he vaguely remembers it. But the Bridgerton series is wonderful. There are some prequels out about it too, about their parents and their aunts and uncles. I really highly recommend the Bridgerton series. This one has not been made into a series, uh, a television series as far as I know. But it is a rather entertaining concept. It's called the Bromance Book Club. And in this book, it is from a masculine point of view. Well, actually, it jumps back and forth, but it starts in a masculine point of view. It is a star baseball player who's having uh, romantic troubles with his wife. And they're going to get divorced. And a group of his friends step in. Other athletes from all different teams, uh, wealthy business owners, just a group of manly men. And what he finds out is that they have a book club 
and they are reading romance novels because they figure romance novels are written by women usually for women. And so by reading these romance novels, they can learn what they can do to better their relationships. And of course, it's filled with mishaps and, and it really is a humorous book, but it shows that anyone can read a romance novel. I believe the one they're reading is called Courting the Countess, which, you know, is a little bit of a historical romance, but still has things that apply to their modern day relationships. And this is the first book in a series, I believe. And the other ones were coming out uh, last year and this year. I haven't double checked to see when they did come out. But I think it's a really great book to read. If you're looking for something local, you may have heard of Lizbeth Selvig. She has, uh, she's from Minnesota. And she has a whole series, a Sevens Brides for Sevens Cowboys novel. We have several of them here at our library. And they take place on a ranch in Wyoming. And as you hear, it's, you know, seven brides, seven cowboys that, that follows a family. And so it really is a great way to celebrate our local authors. I have to admit, I haven't read this one yet. It's been sitting on my shelf for a few days. Other books have jumped ahead because they're due back sooner. And that's how I judge which book I read next. But I'm looking forward to reading this one. And as I had mentioned, sometimes you can have different types of romance. A thriller or suspense romance is really a great way to go sometimes. And one of my favorites is Suzanne Brockman. Um, this one is called Force of Nature. Usually her books deal with a couple. Um, they may not be a couple in the beginning. They become a couple at the end. Standard romance novel uh, way to go. But there's usually shooting, terrorists um murders guns uh military she's actually very well known for having a uh, military i believe navy seals series or they also incorporate marines and other uh, ones and so it really is it's a romance but it definitely has a lot of plot twists in it, it has a lot of adventure i really enjoy reading hers when i'm in the mood for something that's not quite as mushy maybe a little bit more action-packed there's still some mush, but when you're looking for a little more action packed, Susan Brockman is a wonderful author for that. And if you haven't noticed by all of these covers, something that I personally am delighted with, they don't have Fabio or any other bare chested men on them that you would be embarrassed to take with you to say your child's baseball game and you're sitting in the stands reading before they start playing. You're not embarrassed to have these, but just in case you don't want to be seen with a romance novel, that's perfectly fine too. We have some wonderful Kindle versions or our audiobooks or ebooks. So if you look into Overdrive, we can definitely help you with that. Um, so just give us a call if you need some help finding them. Otherwise, I hope that you enjoy some romance novels.